Hey guys, Coach Dana Cavalier here checking in with you today. So we're going to do a little chalk talk. I want to talk about one important word as it relates to recovery. And that word is sleep, okay? So we're not really sure how much of it we need. Some people say seven hours. Some people say we need nine hours. Some people say we need 12. What I like to say is it all depends on how much sleep you've been getting and how much activity you've been performing. So if you've been training harder, burning more calories, and beating your body up more, either physically, mentally, or both, you're going to need more sleep for that body to heal and recover, okay? But let's first understand how our sleep cycles work. So let's talk about 90 minutes, okay? That's how long a full start to finish sleep cycle is. So if we're trying to come up with how much time should I sleep, you ever have those days where you take a nap for 45 minutes and you feel worse than if you would have taken a nap for 15 minutes? A lot of that has to do with timing of sleep cycles and how deep you're falling asleep, right? So if you take a 15 minute, let's break this into three phases, right? So let's call this like our REM sleep in the middle. So if this is 30 minutes and this is 30 minutes, and this is 30 minutes, let's look at it like this. If you fall asleep or wake up in, in the middle of a REM cycle, that's when you're gonna feel really tired and groggy and lethargic. If you wake up in this first phase, that phase before your, well, your waves are slowing down to get into REM, you'll be all right. And if you wake up outside of REM, you'll also be all right. So this will help you time your sleep. So your nap should be 30 minutes or less, or if you're going for something a little bit longer, it should be an hour plus, an hour and 15 to an hour and 30 minutes, and you can wake up in here. That would be a longer nap depending on, again, the amount of activity. So let's say you're an athlete, you're training, uh, you had a hard morning session, you know, on field, you're sweating, you've lost a lot of electrolytes, a 30 minute nap may not feel great for you. So you may need that um, 75 minute nap, that's okay just wake up in this block. So now let's talk about our actual sleep. If I'm saying a sleep cycle is 90 minutes, that would mean we should either sleep an hour and a half, three hours, four and a half hours, six hours, seven and a half hours, or nine. So I'm not quite sure where the prescription of eight comes in because we gotta make sure that we're waking up, we're completing a full sleep cycle or we're gonna wake up once we get out of REM. So you gotta time your sleep accordingly. How do you do it? Most, most of us know how long it takes us to go to sleep. We gotta be very aware of that and plan backwards. So if you have interrupted sleep, you're gonna be in big trouble. If you're waking up in the middle of REM cycles, you're gonna be in big trouble. If you're taking naps that are waking you up in the middle of REM, you're also gonna be in trouble. You're gonna feel tired, lethargic, and there's a good chance that it's gonna be very hard for you to get through the rest of your day because you're going to be so slow and lethargic. I do have a hack for you. If you do happen to wake up in the middle of REM, you need to change your body's physiology really quickly. So you're either going to have to hit ice cold water, you're either going to have to hit water that's super, that contrasting hot and cold, finishing on cold. So you can do that in a, hot, in a cold bath, you can do it in a shower, you can go back and forth, or you're going to have to get your heart rate up through cryo or you can do some sort of a high intensity activity, even if it's just bursts of running in place or running in place with resistance or just some quick weight training. That will get you recalibrated. Um, and I'll also give you, you could do a sauna and a steam room. Any of those methods will help you. If one doesn't work, try the other. But that's how you break out of a REM funk. And it works. Remember your 90 minute sleep cycles. If you're not sleeping, you're gonna feel terrible. And uh, I hope that helps you. Coach Dana Cavalier signing off. Always remember to get your sleep in, get your recovery. See you soon.